Okay, when I was doing my Fury is True D Diversity version 3.5 review, one commenter, and I think his name was the Big Block 81, mentioned that my firmware was actually on 3.2 instead of 3.5, so it looks like I have to upgrade. Now, I've got the module out of the dominators right now, and you can see with the new version, this new model, 3.5, you don't have to remove the cover. You can access the USB port right there. And if I plug it in, and it comes on, you can see version 3.2 when it first came on. So that's what I have to upgrade. So let's get started on the upgrade. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So the first thing we need to do to do the upgrade is go to FuriousFPV.com and then go to the download section download the X loader if it's the first time that we've updated the firmware. So we go down find the X loader right here. This is version 3 and download it. You can see it downloaded pretty quick. It's almost down there. It's done. Now let's go to show the folder and then we'll find it should be down the bottom. There it is and I'm just going to drag it over and put it in my folder here on the desktop for this project. So I'm going to move it there. Okay, we got that one. Now we need the firmware version. So let's scroll down, see if we can find the firmware. There's version 3 and we want to get the version 3.5 which is right here at the top and download that the same way. And then I'll show the folder on that too. There it is. It's another RAR file, so just copy that to my folder over here. Actually, I'm going to move it. All right, so I got them both in the folder. Okay, so now we can put the browser away. Let's open the folder. Okay, so these are the two files that I got right here. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, extract here. I'm going to use the Windows internal extraction tool. Okay, extracting. It just came in there. It extracted. It's X loader right there. Okay, so that means we can get rid of this file because I don't need it anymore. Okay, now let's extract the firmware the same way using the Windows internal extraction tool. Extract here. Okay, you can see that the firmware came in right there. So now that we can, we've done that, we can get rid of the RAR file. So now we've got the X loader, which is in here, and there it is right there. So let's go ahead and launch X loader. Okay, let's go ahead and plug the true D module into the computer right here. And that's coming on. Okay, so first let's find our firmware file. So I'm going to click here and we know it's on the desktop and it's in the folder right here and there's the firmware. So let's load that. We'll just go open. So that's loaded in. Then we have to select the right board right here, which is this one. It's a funny name, but just make sure you have that one. And then we have to select the COM port. When there's only one showing, that's four. Okay, now we're going to get ready to upload the firmware to the Furious module. Okay, so let's go ahead and upload the firmware. I'm going to click Upload and you can see what the screen is doing right here. Okay, you can see on the screen that we have 30,334 bytes uploaded, so it's done. But the Furious module is now telling me that I have to calibrate, which happens after you upgrade the firmware. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug the cable. All right, now let's just plug the unit back into the USB port and see what happens. So it comes up and you can see I have 3.5 firmware but I do need to calibrate it. 
So that means I need to put a little uh, transmitter a certain distance away. Let's just go through the calibration and see what it looks like. Okay, it says press the center button. Okay, now we have to, it says attention. Remove antennas, which we have. Turn on the VTX, move VTX based on milliwatts. So I hit it again, it says if it's 200 milliwatts, milliwatts put it eight feet away so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I've turned on my video transmitter and it's about 200 milliwatts so I put it eight feet away and now I'm gonna press the center button again alright we're ready we'll go okay so now it's doing the calibration so this calibration is something you only have to do usually when you change the firmware. Okay, now it's done. So let's scroll down to save and exit and press the middle button. And then we can exit. We're done. Okay, so that's it. We have completed it. Of course, it's going to say low signal because we had to take the antennas off naturally. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them under the video, and we'll see you next time. Hit your button.